What's up, brother? What's up, bro? I've been experimenting with this, trying to get this handle up here properly on this Instagram Live now for every session. And I finally, after this is the 13th one, I got it right for you. So look at that. <laughs> Looks good, dude. I have struggled with it every single night. I, was, I could not get the right dimensions. And I finally figured. Practice virtuous behavior. Cook some food. Meditate. Be happy. Tell me one good thing that happened today with you. Oh, I had a lot of good things happen today. I had a very nice yoga session with the Gritty Buddha. It was really nice. Made some delicious homemade pasta. My son ate about 50 of them. <laughs> it's like a little restaurant over here. <laughs> How old's your kid? They're uh, 13 and 15. 13, I got, I have 14 and 11. Yeah, so about the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're born and raised in New York? I'm born and raised in Jersey. Then I went to Honolulu to study Taoist philosophy. And then I came back here to Long Island. So tonight you're gonna to take us through, so I, I, think, I think I sent it to you the other day, I just finished reading the Tao Te Ching. Tao Te Ching. Um, yeah. And then I reread it to Dr. Wayne Dyer's interpretation of it. Yeah, that one's good. So many, so many morsels and nuggets. Every time you reread it, there's something else that you didn't read the first time. And it just um, it blows me away every single time I read it. So it's only five thousand characters. It's crazy, right? And so many morsels of wisdom that have been paraphrased, reused, recycled, and so many other doctrines that came after it. It's so beautifully short, though. Yeah. That's I really like I, I really like Dr. Wayne Dyers and how he did it and how he would read it and then he would meditate on it and write an esoterical piece on his interpretive value of it. I just that's the part I just think it's, it's cool because no one's ever, no one's really done that before, so I thought it was really cool. Yeah, we're gonna kind of do that today with one of uh, my favorite verses in the Tao Te Ching, chapter thirty-three. Awesome, man forward to that so at nine o'clock you know the routine we're going to start a silent minute which you're going to lead us on from here on out so do your thing appreciate you being on here thank you sure our pleasure so we're all going to go inward you know mudras are very powerful peace mudra well mudra connection of the spirit mudras. So put your hands into some comfortable mudra and let's take a silent minute to give back to the earth and its inhabitants.
So, chapter 33. It is wisdom to know others, but it is enlightenment to know the self. You know, this passage talks about overcoming obstacles that exist inside your body. And in times like this, we have to practice undoing a lot of what we've learned mistakenly that took us away from our nature. Sheng Ren Zer Yoli, Zer Shang Zer Chiang. The conqueror of men is powerful, but the master of him or herself is strong. You have to develop internal discipline. You have to apply some type of religion or philosophy or system that you know you can work on inside, no matter what's happening in your surroundings outside. Zer zu zer fu, chang xing zer yo zi. It is wealth to be content. It is willful to force one's way upon others. Right in a world like we're living in today, richness is adequacy, is you know going with the flow. Developing that inner peace inside your heart, so no matter what's going on outside, you're centered and full and rich because you possess comfort and adequacy. Bu shi qi so, zhe ju, shi er, hu wang zhe shou. Endurance is to keep one's place. Long life is to die. And not perish. So this passage means, like the bamboo, you have to bend, but not break. And remembering that the difference between life and death is just one single breath. So in these times, in this age, focus on your breath. Focus on what's inside you. Work on all those things that you have going on that can improve, and as a result. You'll support the world, everything around us, and become one with the Tao. It's fantastic. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for that reading. Can you reiterate to everyone just so they know what it was you read, the Tao to Change, Chapter Thirty Three, and kind of how you got into that and, and what it's meant for you? Yeah, this Tao Te Ching was written in 1122 BC by Lao Tzu. It's one of the oldest classics in human history. It teaches you how to live virtuously and in accordance with the Tao. You know, the character Tao is the whiskers under your nose with the rudder of a boat. So it translates as the path, but the idea is that you're using your somewhat intuition to navigate through all the turbulence that exists in the world, and that's the basis for Taoist philosophy. And there's plenty to read about it. I suggest starting with the Tao Te Ching, chapter 33, chapter 62, 63, 64, 1, and 25. And it's a beautiful book of poetry that provides guidance in good times and bad. Basically, read the entire chapters, all of them. They're all fantastic. Yeah, they're deep though. You could read one for a month. Yeah, and that's for those of you who haven't read it. You, you can read it one one chapter one time, and then come back to it and reread it a second, third, fourth, fifth time. And every time you reread it, there's a new morsel that 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 you may have not gathered or understood or seen the first time around. So it's it's the gift that keeps on giving. It sure is. All right. So you are the little Dallas Dallas. I have your handle right there. If anybody wants to get any more information from Dave, his. Handle right, is right here on the screen, Lil Dawist, and you can find him here on Instagram. And thank you for joining. That was fantastic. I hope to do it again. And everyone else, thank you for being on as well. Have a wonderful. Sounds、week. good.、Bye. Peace. Peace.